Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect roasted chicken. Here are all of the ingredients that I'll be using. My chicken has been rinsed and pat dried. I cut away most of the neck as well as the tail. The inside of the cavity has been dried and that extra fat that normally hangs around the thigh area was trimmed. This was a four to six pound chicken. I'm going to be roasting my chicken on top of the vegetables that you see here and these vegetables have been rinsed. I'm just roughly chopping these down to create a bed that's going to elevate the chicken from the surface of the roasting dish. I will not be using a roasting rack. The vegetables that I'm using are also going to add a lot of flavor to the pan dripping. So if you make this recipe, it's always a good idea to add some vegetables along with your chicken. So this is what it should look like once it's done. You wanna sprinkle this with some salt and pepper and Italian seasoning. And now we're gonna add the chicken, which has been stuffed and buttered, but wait. Did I miss a few steps? Or did you really think that I was not gonna show you how I stuffed this chicken? Y'all know me better than that. All right, let's go back. So here's my chicken all prepped and ready to be seasoned. I'm gonna start with the inside of the cavity, lifting the bird up and sprinkling salt and pepper inside. For aromatics, I'm using one and a half tablespoons of minced garlic and rubbing everything all around to evenly distribute inside of the cavity. I'm gonna add one lemon, sliced, as well as fresh rosemary. These ingredients are gonna keep moisture inside of the chicken so that it does not dry out when it's cooking. And it's also gonna add some really good flavor. I'm using a half tablespoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper to season the chicken. First, I'm gonna start by lifting the skin of the chicken and I'm gonna rub the salt and pepper onto the meat that's underneath the skin. I'm gonna repeat the same step with the breast area of the chicken, just being careful not to tear the skin. And also note that lifting the skin from the meat will allow air to flow through, creating an air pocket, which will help to get crispy skin. I'll be using butcher's twine to truss the legs of the chicken, and this will help the chicken to cook evenly without drying out. So this is really, really simple. You just want to loop the twine around the first drumstick twice, then pull that leg in the direction of the other leg to join them together while looping the twine around the opposite drumstick. Then tie it together like you would for a shoestring with the bow. Now there are other ways to trust the chicken. This is just how I do it and this is just what's easiest for me. Next you want to take three tablespoons of melted butter and you're going to baste the chicken with the butter. Just making sure that you spread this evenly and you want to coat every nook and cranny. All right, so now I'm back to where I left off earlier. So after the chicken was placed on the veggie bed, I rubbed the remaining butter onto the chicken as well as the backside. Coating the chicken with butter is very essential to add flavor and crispy skin. It's also gonna help any seasonings that you use adhere to the chicken. Add your salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning to the chicken just by simply sprinkling it on top and underneath the wings. And then you wanna rub those seasonings in just making sure that the chicken is fully coated. Tuck the wings behind the neck area of the chicken because if you leave them out, the wings will burn. 
Now, if you wish to use potatoes, now is a good time to add them at this point. Then you can go ahead and add in your chicken broth. I use just enough chicken broth to cover the bottom layer of the roasting dish. And this is for additional flavor and it's also going to keep my vegetables from burning once I place them inside of the oven. If you have fresh rosemary, you'll want to add that in as well. So now this is it. And I'm gonna go ahead and place this into the oven. All right, so my oven was on 475 and I did baste this every 15 to 20 minutes. I let this bake for an hour and a half. It still was not done. So I covered it with foil. I put it back into the oven, lowered the heat down to about 300 and I let it continue to slowly bake. So the total roasting time was um, two and a half hours for this size chicken. And here it is. Go ahead and take a look. This is fresh out of the oven. This chicken was so, so juicy and it was so delicious. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys in my next video.